Okay, welcome to the AFCI Beyond Cinema Studios here at Sundance. We're here with Essie and Jennifer mm -hmm. from Babadook. I know how to pronounce it now because That's of good. seeing it. I know. Because at first you say Babadook, but yes. then you quickly learn yeah. it's Babadook. So I wanted to, how did, how did you, it, you, it started as a short for you. And yeah. so this is all, Babadook is a creation that you made. Yeah, yeah. And the short is is quite, I guess, simple compared to the feature, obviously. But the idea of you know a woman having something that she she is too frightened to face was kind of the the kernel that I kept and developed in into the Babadook. So that's the theme of it is still there, the core of it. And one of the things I was sitting there and I was like, this makes being a single mom look very terrifying. <laughs> like that was one of I mean that was really one of the things. Like I was like, and then you're. Your child goes crazy. Essie, when you read the script, were you did did the horror of it jump off the page like that to you? Absolutely. I I I read it um, very swiftly because it is a page turning script, and it was horrifying and and terrifying. And as a mother myself, very recognisable, which um which I found awful. <laughs> it's yeah. it's quite confronting when you see the worst of yourself as a parent. You know, trying to make the best of, of, of being, doing everything you can for your child, but also, you know, the frustrations of especially sleep deprivation mm -hmm. and, um, and having a child that other people find difficult. And S was like, you were saying, I don't know if I can take the role. What will my kids think of it? Yeah. <laughs> like, They're not going to say that for sure. But I do, I do definitely think that's what's striking a chord with people because when you say psychological thriller, when you have a character like that that you can relate to and is so eloquently portrayed and you're like, this could be anyone and is it just in her mind or is it real? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, I, I think I was very blessed to have Essie because the role really needed a complexity and... She has that, you know. How did you? Work. How did you bring her on? We have been very good friends for many, many years. We went to acting school together, and um, you know, once I once I kind of finished the role, I was like, wow, this is as wide as it gets. It goes from you know very sort of sweet and nice, but quite repressed, to a monster, really. And uh, you know, I could find an actress either in one category or in or in the other, sweet and nice or monstrous. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got it all. <laughs> <laughs> and the trust was there between us too to really, you know, I pushed her and, and you, you were pushed, you know. Oh yeah, she... Jen never, never stopped. Like, there, it, it was one of the hardest roles I've ever played in my life. And I, I like, Jen was the year ahead of me at drama school and a, is a brilliant actress. And um, I knew that as she had written the script that she had acted every part of it for herself to create this amazing story. And it was the most trusting I've ever felt, or the most not trusting, but just I felt like I just lay myself open for her and said, do whatever you want with me, because I knew that she'd already done it brilliantly in her own mind. And so um, uh, we, we, it was a really incredibly difficult process, but exhausting process, but and, uh, you know, there were days where I lost my voice and I was yes. bruised all over. You know, like we were, we were in a, a cellar, a real cellar, and oh. Essie's down on the f ground, you know, freezing, freezing her <laughs> ass off. And uh, re a real trooper. You wouldn't get... I don't know of many actresses who would really go to the level that she did, and that's just a testament to her genius. I think it was that scene, and then obviously Noah is brilliant, Beautiful. and his the the scene in the car with him, like you're, and to read that he wasn't an actor. Oh, uh, when so, he has a fit, right, yeah. right. So how did you find this child who, this young young child who was able to help carry the movie basically with? Yeah, through the brilliance of a wonderful casting agent who I'd known as an actor and trusted her. her, her she has a metic meticulous taste. And she, she just has a knack for finding children. And she, you know, she, she scoured Australia. We had over 400 kids audition. And then I think I saw about 50 on tape. And then we had, you know, we had them in and I did improvisations with them. And, and it's a punt. You, you never know. Like I, I thought, there he is. But then before you start shooting, I was sh shitting myself thinking, is he going to be able to do the whole film? And he did. And he's, you know, he's six. 
And he had just started like weekend drama classes with his mum had, had just taken him along and they had offered up, would he like to audition for a movie? And he didn't even know it was going to be a movie. It was just drama class. You know, yeah, he, he, he but thought. his mum's a child psychologist and she, she was incredibly open and beautiful, like so generous with trusting us. Mm -hmm. And I guess the three of us together, we looked after Noah and made sure that he was safe and he didn't get a lot of direct um, <laughs> direct venom from me. Quite often, um, quite often he wouldn't be in the room when I was being really vicious. But, uh, but, but in regards to scenes like in the car where he has to have a convulsion, he didn't know what a convulsion was. So a lot of the time I'd have to, I'd have to kind of act things out for him so I threw myself on the makeup van floor and how to fit yeah. and he was like oh okay and he, he just took it on he yeah. just embraced it but also Essie you know worked with him as well as much as I did and we and we'd, we'd be driving around and describing what a tantrum was oh, yeah, you know, you've had a tantrum you know when you really 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 get upset and you get really close at your mum and he's going yeah and then we we both like went into this. one <laughs> <laughs> and then he would just go there and you know there were times where where I was going I'm going to take all your Lego and I'm going to put it into a bucket of cement and I'm going to throw it in the sea. And here we go, oh, no. <laughs> you know, we, meanwhile, his mum is off cat. Like, what are they doing to my child? No, it was, all, it was all play and he knew, he knew, he was very good at playing. He's just, yeah, a born actor. And talk about a little bit about where, where you shot. Were you able to, to shoot on location where you wanted to shoot? I, I was actually. Um, I'm from. I live in Sydney, uh, but I really wanted to shoot in Adelaide because there's a strange kind of, you know, the architecture there is perfect, very gothic, and uh, and they also had a big studio there, uh, and we couldn't have made the film in Sydney, I don't think. Um, but so Adelaide was perfect. Um, and did you work with the film commission there? Then? Yeah, yeah. SAFC. They were, were they're very, they're a really wonderful um, film commission uh, because they really support the directors and really leave them alone basically. So it was great for me. And Essie, are you Sydney based as well? I'm universal based. <laughs> <laughs> Sydney, Melbourne, London. Yeah. Yeah. Everywhere. I'm, everywhere. I'm everywhere. Do you prefer shooting on location like that or back where you have a home? Um, as a parent it's really nice to be, have a home but my, I take my children with me everywhere so my home is everywhere. And how is it to be here at Sundance with this oh, feature? Amazing. It's quite surreal, actually. I was saying in the Q&A before that yesterday we, we got to see Robert Redford. You know, we, we all, the directors all went to our director's brunch and he spoke so beautifully and talked about independent cinema and just reminded us or explained to us how Sundance began. And, um, yeah, I just feel, we feel very blessed. First, you know, it's my first feature, so. Well, and, I mean, the headlines are like Sundance Surprise and all of this. Yeah. I mean, it, it's very, it's, it has to be exciting to be here with a movie that's it's so that's exciting. And so the, exciting. The, the, we've had three screenings so far and the audiences have been so different. Oh, but um, everyone has been incredibly engaged. Like last night we were at Salt Lake City and it was so tremendous to go in and watch the people leaping out of their seats. And like, really like, and ah, 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 <laughs> <laughs> It was really... It was, it was kind of this adrenaline of terror that went through the audience, which was so great because the night before it had been quite a, an emotional night of, of, yeah. of really getting into the sadness of, of how, what, yeah, a, every what a sad is different. Yeah. story it is. You know. I saw it at midnight over here and there were like grown men like pulling up. We were all oh, like, really? we were in a pod of people like just like, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, someone, I mean, we won't give away anything in the story, but, you know, something terrible happened when someone went, oh, Jesus, you know, <laughs> really vocal. <laughs> there were quite a few outbursts. But yeah, yeah. Well, thank you very much for being here, and congratulations. Thank you so exciting. much. Thank you so much. Have yeah. fun with it. We will. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.